calculation of molar conductance and equivalent conductance. Relationship between molar conductance and equivalent conductance, you will be asked to calculate some various molecules. Equivalent conductance and molar conductance are various molecules. So, here this formula you have to understand. Molar conductance is equal to x into lambda naught alpha plus and y into lambda into alpha minus. So, this is uh, uh, lambda cation and uh, lambda anion are nothing but ionic conductance of cation and anion as well as the stoichiometric coefficients are x and y. Now, equivalent conductance equal to molar conductance by total charge. So, to understand this formula, to understand this formula, I am going to give you some uh, three videos uh, for this. This is the, the first video will include some different type of example, which you will understand. Sometimes in physical chemistry, if they give inorganic molecules, calcium bromide, silver bromide, silver sulphate, you know how to write the limiting molar conductance. But when they give organic molecules, you should get, you will get stuck sometimes. So, you have to understand it. Now, let us go to the first example. Now, supposing they have given a molecule called sodium, potassium, oxalate. For this, if they give you the data, ionic equivalent conductance. ionic equivalent conductivities of oxalate ion potassium ion and sodium ion are a comma b comma c siemens centimeter square e colon power minus 1 respectively. Then calculate, we can calculate limiting equivalent conductivity of sodium potassium oxalate. How do we do this? This is a very, very important neat competitive question. Now, first of all, you should know the structure of sodium potassium oxalate. Before that, you should know what is oxalic acid this is oxalic acid oxalic acid is ethane 1 comma 2 diaic acid if you systematically want to remember oxalic acid it is like this now in oxalic acid if you replace the first proton by sodium ion and the second proton by potassium ion this is called sodium potassium oxalate Okay, now see what is the formula. So, total charge of oxalate ion is equal to 2. Even here, cation also totally 2 because one potassium ion is plus 1, another sodium ion is equal to plus 1. Therefore, total charge is plus 2 or if you want to take anion, oxalate ion, here also charge will be minus 2. So, therefore, total unit charge is 2. Okay. Now, number of equivalent, number of 
equivalent of ion is equal to charge on the ion charge on the ion divided by total charge that is equivalent of oxalate ion equivalent of oxalate ion is equal to charge on the total ion is 2 total charge is also 2 therefore 1 so equivalent of oxalate ion is 1 next equivalent of sodium ion is equal to equivalent okay first we will calculate separately equivalent of potassium sodium ion charge is 1 total charge is 2 similarly equivalent of potassium ion is also 1 by 2 therefore equivalent conductivity of sodium potassium oxalate is equal to stoichiometric coefficient is 2 that is equivalent limiting molar con limiting ionic conductivity of sodium ion plus half into limiting ionic conductivity of potassium ion plus limiting ionic conductivity of oxalate ion now for sodium what they have given for sodium they have given y so y by 2 plus so y into 1 by 2 is y by 2 plus y into uh, z z is what z is for sodium ion i am sorry for sodium we have to put z by mistake i have put y kindly excuse me x sorry z z sodium is z no? what we have written in the question a sodium or uh, a b c so potassium oxalate is a sodium is uh, uh, potassium is b and uh, this is c great sodium is c c by 2 plus for potassium once again we will check potassium is uh, b therefore b by 2 plus c so this is the limiting equivalent conductivity of supposing if they modify the question like this limiting ionic conductivity of limiting ionic conductivity of oxalate ion is three times limiting ionic conductivity of sodium ion once again we will see the alphabet for oxalate and sodium na? yes sodium and oxalate sodium is uh, c and oxalate is a so oxalate oxalate is a sodium is c therefore a equal to 3c substitute it here once again so you will get limiting equivalent conductivity of sodium potassium oxalate is equal to c by 2 plus b by 2 plus 3c that is equal to 1 by 2 plus 3 into c plus b by 2 that is equal to 7 by 2 c plus b by 2 therefore this is the sodium potassium oxalate equivalent conductance provided this kind of relationship is given so like this i am having another two concept videos now which you will understand okay thank you